Hello, YouTubers, fellow hams, and 3D printing enthusiasts. This is your midweek 3D video. I made something. It's kind of cool, I think, anyway. So a little while back, uh, I did the video on the gear drive that I made for the magnetic loop, a single herringbone gear arrangement, about a 3.8 to 1 ratio. And it made tuning the loop a little bit easier. Because they're so narrow, listen for the static on the radio. So you see how far I'm turning that. A little bit easier. I wanted a greater reduction. I wanted a little bit more range. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to have that hot spot be that much of a rotation. I want it to be that much of a rotation, so it's easier to find the center. So that by listening by ear to the receiver, I can. Okay, right about there. I'm pretty close to one to one SWR. Instead of having to put out a carrier and then tune, then fine tune, I want to get closer first off. That way, if I'm going across the band, I find somebody calling CQ. I don't have to put out a carrier to fine tune, or I don't have to try to fine tune while I'm speaking. You know, um, that's it's just too fiddly. So I wanted a greater gear reduction. So I decided, well, okay, this worked. I kind of understand how to make gears. Let's step it up a notch. I made planetary gears. Figured those out. You know, and you can tell from the the previous uh, video where we made the planetary fidget toy. Um, so I went a bit further. I started to put together a planetary gear transmission. A dual stacked planetary gear transmission where one set operates the second set and multiplies your reduction. And it came together really well. I designed all the parts from scratch. Here is a exploded layout of all the parts involved in the thing. Um, it takes up less space. It's in a smaller container sits on the front of the capacitor. Uh, I've got a little crank knob there so you can crank through the uh, adjustment range a little more quickly and then just use the knob to fine tune. And it works pretty well. There's just a little bit of slop, but not too bad. Um, I might look at ways to, to even improve that, but it's already a pretty high precision model. Uh, your, your 3D printer is going to have to be accurate to a tenth of a millimeter or less. Uh, to have success printing this model. It's it's a pretty high precision model as it is. And I could have made it even smaller and tighter with my printer, but I, I wanted to have something that other people would have a chance at putting together. So let's go uh, let's go look at its operation. Sorry about the handheld cell phone camera. I'm going to be changing angles so much, I just figured it was the best thing to do. I've got the ICOM sitting on the 20 meter band. And I'm going to tune the loop, and we're going to listen to the static sound on the radio. So, here is the gearbox. Let's find 20 meters. There it is. See how far I moved that to go through the whole hot spot, or whole sweet spot? So right about there should be tuned in. One to one. No SWR indicated at all. Okay, let's QSY. We'll go up to uh, 10 meters. That should be it right there. Let's see how close we are. Spot on. Yep. It definitely, it definitely makes it easier. There's also an assembly video where I walk through putting it together. If you want to see how all the parts fit together, you might want to watch that. It'll be linked in the video description, but it's also linked on the Thingiverse and Printables page where the model is. In the description there. So there you go. This is now the most complex thing that I've designed from scratch in FreeCAD, and uh, I'm really enjoying FreeCAD. I I'm sure that there's more efficient ways to do things than how I'm doing them, but you know I'm getting the job done. It's easy. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. 
That's that's the main thing. Making this little transmission was fun. I enjoyed the heck out of it. <laughs> it is, of course, up on Thingiverse and Printables. Both links are in the description below. Uh, so you can download the model and, and um, put it together yourself if you like. Uh, there might be improvements to it in the future. I don't know. Um, there's one other gearing arrangement I want to explore, which I've saved for last because it's going to be the most difficult. It's a simpler arrangement. It's a worm gear. But worm gears are very, very hard to 3D print. Very hard. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, I'm looking at, at a way of uh, of making a worm gear. The problem with worm gears is the ratio is so high on the order of 60 to 70 to 1 that if you want to QSY across the band, you're sitting there cranking away 20, 30 times to, to move the capacitor you know, across. But I've got a way around that. So I might look into doing a worm gear next. But this planetary transmission, I'm pretty happy with it. I think uh, I'm, it might stay on the loop for a while. It works really well. So I hope you found that interesting, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.